hey guys hey everyone how are you all doing it's your girl twindy thank you so so much for stopping by the channel if you are new here guys welcome 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 everyone who has been with me you know trotting behind me <laughs> trusting me with your messages welcome back and big up on yourself thank you all for your support guys but anyways come here for your message let's jump straight into your message our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alright guys, let's see what our angels are trying to say to us today. First we're going to look at our energy. As Divine Feminines, where our energy is at, so we we'll see why we are receiving the message we are receiving from our angels. Oh, okay, I'll take this one. It didn't want to go in. You have the temper path. So, there's something here that's indicating that you, you guys out there, you're being led in the right direction there is a path that you're taking that you're moving towards but it is the right path for you whatever it is there is something that's that's gonna lead you towards that balance that you have been seeking that you have been looking for longing for you're also being told that you are guided so everything that you're doing everything that you're going through you're guided towards it you're, you're going to be guided through it. So, don't think that you're alone. You have your guides with you. Alright? See what other message they have in regards to what our energy is like. You have the third chakra. Archangel Shamuel. So like I'm saying to you guys, there are some of us out there, you're, you're planning for something. You're building something. You're creating something. You're on this new path. You are headed in a new direction. And it, it may feel weird or it may feel like things are out of place. But whatever it is, it, it's guided. It's guided. So you're at this point where you're building. You're building. You're creating something new. See? Action on the bottom. It's time for action. Whatever action you're taking, it is guided. Wow. Yes. Bring out the chakras. Fourth chakra. So you're also here opening up your heart, Divine Feminines. You're working on opening up your heart. So it's like your chakras are aligning. You are going through this process where you are aligning. Everything in your life is aligning, especially the spiritual aspect of your life, which is exactly why these chakras are opening here. So it's like, it's like you're having a better understanding of everything on this Twin Flame journey and your life. So it's that balance that's coming together within you. You have financial constraints. So there are some things here. Sorry guys. There are some things here that are um, kind of holding you back. You may see it as, as a burden, a struggle. Because your finances may not be where you want them to be right now. See, the, the chest is empty. So you feel like, I don't have enough money to do this. I don't have enough money to do that. But guys, you are moving higher. You are growing higher. You are getting up there in spirituality and who is the spiritual master whenever you have any roadblocks whenever you have anything that seems like it's standing in your way it's holding you back talk to God about it talk to God about it and everything else will fall into place whatever is happening here is leading you towards your happiness see you are so worried about something could be that financial constraint it could be you wondering if you're on the right path if you're experiencing the right thing if you're moving towards the right thing if you're doing the right things but whatever decision you're making it, it, it's 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 guided and if you want to know if you're dealing with the right thing or if you're moving in the right direction Ask God about it, like I always say. Ask God about it. 
I have that little video where I, I, I show you how to ask God for whatever it is that you want to know. Like, like if you want to know if you're going in the right direction, if you're making the right choices, I, I may attach it on the, the end of this video. You know? I may, I may put it on the, on the end somewhere over here. So you guys can see it. Look at that. Door to value. So it's 3113. So whatever is happening here, you may seem, it, it may seem like it, it's the last. You're so out. My money is done. I can't, I can't do anything. I won't, I won't achieve anything. But once you keep pushing, once you keep moving forward, once you keep trusting God, you're going to have that abundance that you are looking for. 555, five, five, that change is definitely going to come in. I said it before in one of the readings, but it's always darkest before dawn. And I remember it this time. I remember it <laughs> it's almost it's always darkest before dawn so let's see what your angels wants to say to you in regards to what our energy is like hello from heaven Archangel Azrael your loved ones in heaven are doing fine let go of worries and feel their loving blessings and I'm getting that this is this is not like from someone who may have passed this is like the 5d energy the, the, the parts of you that you have not seen yet the, the parts of you that are yet to be manifested whether this is you or your divine masculines but whatever it is everything is fine you are fine your masculine is fine everything is working out the way that it should you have moon cycles Archangel Haniel Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. So whenever that moon cycle comes back around, whenever that moon cycle is coming up, you know I don't know those things. Use those cycles or whatever cycle, manifesting cycle is coming around. Use those cycles to manifest what your heart desires. And when you're manifesting what your heart desires, it should be something to improve your life. It shouldn't be somebody else. It should be something to improve you as a person, make things better in your life. You've got to understand that everything will fall into place once you are okay. If you're stressed out, if you're tired, if you're weary, if you're upset, and nothing is going to fall into place. Nothing is going to come to you that you deserve. Because when it comes, you're either going to ignore it or you're going to treat it badly. So once you are okay, once, once you're happy with where you are at, once you feel that happiness within yourself, once you can love unconditionally, once you're not worried about what's missing, you know, because you have God, you have you, you have life. You're, you're appreciating everything that you have instead of focusing on what you don't have. Then everything else will fall into place. And that's what's going to come. That's what's going to come. That financial constraint will soon be over. It will soon be over. Indigo and crystal children. Some of you guys may be worried about having children as well. That's not an issue. That's not an issue. Nothing to worry about here. Same thing goes back to, now it's taking me back to hello from heaven. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. What has not yet been manifested. Everything's okay. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. So you do have a lot of connection here in regards to children. And once you use that connection that you have with children, like you use it on yourself, then you'll finally realize what it's like to live unconditionally, to just live without putting conditions on anything, live in love, live in happiness. You have spiritual understanding, Archangel Raziel, and bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truth. So pay attention to the signs and synchronicities you're receiving also. 
some of you guys you are really seeing those signs and again it's your guidance from your angels nurture Archangel Gabriel you see again with the child issue as an as you nurture a child you nurture your own inner child both activities are important for you right now it's the same thing that I just said when you're interacting with children whether they are yours or you teach them or whatever take note of how they behave take note of how they act take note of how they're happy without even wanting anything but their 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 lunch time <laughs> and their mommy and daddy <laughs> that's all they need they're happy so happy without anything else they just need things if you notice when the the children when they're happy as it's when they're creating when they're playing, when they're drawing, when they're dancing, it's the same thing. Take a look at these children that you're so closely connected to, or that you're wishing for, or that you already have, and you will realize what it means to live unconditionally. Gentleness, Archangel Sandal Fon, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. So you're going to put yourself into that place, 707. That's going to help you to feel that joy and that happiness. Like I said, you are trying to manifest something, but your heart is broken. How can you put something good for you into a broken vessel? It's slowly going to seep out, so it's not going to make any difference that it was even there. you got to first heal that heart. you got to first heal it. Now let's see what the birds are saying. Some of you guys may be noticing birds. When, if you see them, especially the unusual ones, look up. Try and see if you can find the meaning. They may be saying something to you. Finch. New opportunities and choices are opening to you now. Claim them. There you go. There are new oppor opportunities that are coming that's about to set you and your finances free. Parrot. Let go of others' thoughts and opinions. It is time to embrace who you really are. It's time to focus on you. It's, it's not time to focus on what people think of you or where people think you should be in life or what you feel like you should have had because you are at a certain age or at a certain um, year within your connection. Focus on you. That's what's important. No. Pelican, choose to follow the path of forgiveness and raise your vibration. So that could be the path that some of you guys are being set on, that right path, learning to forgive. If you can't forgive, how can you expect others to forgive you? So some of us, you are there and you're saying, I can't forgive my masculine for this. I can't forgive my neighbor for this. But at the same time, the mistakes that you have made, you would want your masculines to forgive you. Things that you said, things that you did, you would want them to forgive you. Things that you're, you said to your neighbor in return. Things that you said to somebody else on the road. You would want them to forgive you. So you got to be able to give in order to receive. Oriole, a new creative venture is on the horizon. See it as a positive change. I told you, there's something new that's coming towards you and it's going to lead you to be your highest self, where you need to be in life, especially in your finances. Raven, the universe is calling you to notice important synchronicities. Exactly. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Don't just see them, you know, Oh, look, a raven and a crow. Universal laws and truths are now being revealed. 
use this energy to create your reality like guys like i just said with that moon energy use it to create what you need what you want for yourself there's a blessing waiting for someone you're on the right path but you gotta forgive you gotta learn to forgive and let things go trust the path that you're on follow the signs you're about to be lifted out of that financial or oh, crisis, whatever it is you're facing. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Love you all. Let go and let God. And I'll see you at your next message. Later, guys. Love you all. Let go and let God.